Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We are a collaboration of former sufferers who are helping current sufferers of anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia. Our videos are designed for those suffering from anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia. However, anyone can benefit from them. Many people with anxiety and panic attacks also suffer from some aspect of social anxiety. Poor communication with other people can at times be immensely frustrating and can make one more anxious, especially if one is prone to anxiety. As mentioned in a previous video in our series, a panic attack is the result of the fight or flight response. This response is exactly what can get activated when we encounter a considerably negative situation or when poor communication is at play. However, the great news is that you can learn techniques and change how you react to these situations. In this video, we will share these strategies. Let me ask you something. Have you ever observed people who are quite smooth when handling difficult situations involving communication? You may have noticed that they didn't become defensive when faced with criticism. They remained calm even when dealing with very challenging people. What's their secret? It can actually be quite simple. They're not taking a defensive stance, and by doing so, they allow the other person to feel heard. Let's consider an example. Imagine it's time for your annual performance review at work. You meet with your boss to receive your evaluation. In his review, your boss has revealed some criticisms about certain aspects of your job performance. Naturally, this would be frustrating. Not necessarily because the criticisms are invalid and not necessarily because the feedback isn't useful. It's because you interpret his feedback as unfair. So you feel the need to defend yourself. So what do you do? First, realize that it's important not to take a defensive stance because that will simply make things worse. Instead, find a common point with your boss. In other words, Find something in his feedback that you can agree with, even just some grain of truth. For example, let's say that one piece of feedback in your performance appraisal is that you take too long to prepare a certain type of report. The, this task is a required part of your position. Upon hearing this, you immediately think that's unfair or that's untrue. However, by using proper communication strategies instead of reacting this way, you can agree and say something like, I appreciate the feedback and this is helpful for me to improve my performance. I've been working on this area and would appreciate some suggestions on how I can set some goals to improve this. In this regard, you're not being defensive and you're showing that you are committed to making a sincere effort in this area. This will probably lead to a more positive conversation with your supervisor, much more helpful than simply closing down to the feedback. Some clarifications. While it's probably accurate that there can be some grain of truth found in something the other person said, we're not suggesting that you should agree with everything the other person is saying, just some of it. We're not suggesting that other people are always right. However, resisting the temptation to go on the defensive and instead finding something to agree with can lead to a better result in the end. It can actually allow you to express yourself better too. And doing so means that you won't have nearly as much anxiety in such situations. By finding a grain of truth in what the other person is saying, even if it's a small point of agreement, there is at least some agreement. They feel heard. And you're not being defensive. Another great way of improving your handling of difficult situations is to practice role-playing with another person. While you role-play, have one person mimic the non-defensive person I mentioned. The other person then takes on the role of the critic. You can even mix things up and switch roles. This can be helpful with perspective taking. 
you might also consider writing out an imaginary dialogue for possible situations in the future. You can practice what you'll say and how you won't be defensive. We aren't suggesting that these strategies always seem easy to employ. However, over time, they become a great skill that can serve to reduce your anxiety while also improving your communication with others. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If desired, you can visit our website and obtain the references we used for this video. To get instant access to the five steps to recovery from anxiety, panic disorder, and agoraphobia, just visit our website and provide your email address. All of our information is absolutely free. Please visit our website at panicattackrecovery.com.